didn't think I was at risk either, but I was, obviously, and it happened, and I thought that I had everything I needed because I had a brand new system and um, thought that my software was compliant. Many compromises occur as a result of reliance on an outdated version of a third party's products. On our website, we have a list of validated payment applications that have demonstrated their ability to meet that standard, and that's something that we strongly encourage merchants to refer to and, and to select vendors that have been validated. As a merchant, there's one critical question you need to ask your dealer or reseller. Is my POS system PCI compliant? Buying and maintaining compliant equipment is the most important step toward compliancy. Is that when you buy a system, you can buy the Bentley, you can buy the Mercedes, you can buy the Cadillac, you can buy the Chevy, or you can buy the Yugo. So you may economize where you can least afford to do it. But the bigger companies have budgets for IT. The smaller people who don't have the funds to, to invest don't have the time to invest, are going to have a weaker system. You know, what bothers me is that here you have a small business, a, a restaurant, a small retailer, they're breached. They're being asked to pay millions of dollars because some criminal breached their system and stole this data. But the penalty's far too high. So I think legislation may be the ultimate goal. Right now, it's with the retailer. That's where the liability is being imposed. This matter grows more urgent by the day. Every time a criminal succeeds, the most valuable asset they steal isn't money, but trust. Yeah, upwards of 60% of, of consumers won't go back and shop at a place that's, that's breached their uh, credit card data. I think equally important, if you look at TJ Maxx, they lost more than a billion dollars in market cap immediately following the breach. Um, it says to me that you need to invest a little bit of money in this issue. Really the cost of protecting that data, it, it's, it's a cost of doing business, it's essential, and it's far less than the cost in the event of a compromise. Now is the time to act. If you don't have money to upgrade your system or buy a compliant one today, work toward that goal. In the meantime, here is a list of action items you can do today. Make sure your POS system has a firewall if it has internet connectivity. Make sure patches are up to date. Antivirus software must be in place. Change passwords on a regular basis. If you don't need one to get on your system, create one and use it. Turn off remote access when it isn't needed. Stay educated. And most importantly, contact your POS provider to see exactly what you're storing on your system. Remember the saying, if you don't need it, don't store it. Well, I think you just um, don't have a choice. You can take the risk if you want to, but um, I'm just, I'm sitting here as a witness to tell you that it can happen and, and the damages could be, a, you know, far outweigh the cost of upgrading your system.